but I know for sure that my least interesting day here is still better than my best day back at work, back in Australia, working a real job. Putting the band back together. Okay. No way. We're on a mission from God. I got an email from YouTube this morning being invited to some master classes for high potential YouTubers and to be recognized as a high potential YouTuber is a massive compliment and it's put me in the best mood today. The hardest thing about what we do is that you never really know how you're doing. You know, we've got our analytics and you can see there's a whole lot on the back end that we can see how we're performing and you can compare previous months and previous weeks and things like that. But ultimately, we're still at the mercy of the algorithm. You see, I come across channels all the time that have a big following and they get small views or you know, they've got a ton of potential, they put out great content, but they don't perform all that well. And you know, while I've studied YouTube a lot, so I understand why a lot of these channels are having the issues that they have, there's still plenty that I come across that I just don't have the answers for. So for me to pop up as a high potential YouTuber, it means I've popped up on some algorithm of YouTubes that says I'm on the right track, basically. I also, a little while ago, got featured as YouTube's creator on the rise, which is a massive compliment. But it's just really rewarding to see all the hard work pay off. So just taking a ferry down the canal now. It's actually been a while since I've done this. It's a whole lot of fun and it's a beautiful day today so it's awesome as well. Those canal boats are so awesome. If you haven't taken one, you should definitely give it a try. You can basically just sort of hop on, hop off wherever. If you look on Google Maps, all along the canals, you can see there's little blue dotted lines on the map and that shows you where the boats go. So you can just sort of hop on and hop off anywhere. The people on board, they're really helpful as well. That was 10 baht, 12 baht or something like that. They're really cheap. So the plan for today is I've just come out for a bit of a walk. Now I'm going to do some exploring, check out some new areas that I haven't been to before. Hopefully get something awesome for lunch. Just a typical day, really. So I took the ferry to a place called Hua Chang. I got off there and I'm just just walking and exploring through. I've never been here before, so just sort of take a walk along here now and see what's along here. It looked really interesting. It looks like there's a lot of houses and shops and some restaurants and things, so let's go. So I think I found a spot to get some lunch. There's oh, so many lovely people here. I got chatting with them. So I'm getting a, what do we get? Pad Krapau with beef, which I've never had before. I had Pad Krapau, obviously. You know, you guys all bust my balls all the time. First time with beef. So I am really excited to try this. The people here are all so lovely. I sat down at a different table just behind here. I was sitting there by myself. And the lady that was sitting here invited me to join her. She's just sitting here eating with a bird. So she invited me to join her and the bird. Mm. That is so good. Beef is actually my favorite meat and it's really hard to get. You, you hardly find it anywhere here in Thailand. This is awesome. <laughs> A 
that was awesome such lovely people I tried to tip them and they refused like she would not let me tip she's like no no forcefully no awesome Now I'm sure the majority of you know this story but I'm going to tell it anyway so a year ago I made the decision to move to Thailand and pursue YouTube full time. See five years ago I created my YouTube channel when I first left Australia and moved to Korea and I kind of did it I mean I was hoping to be successful but I was doing it more as a hobby than treating it like a job and and it wasn't successful because I didn't know how to be successful on YouTube. So in 2020 I took a trip to Australia and got stuck there I couldn't leave and I couldn't get back home to Korea and in that time I started to learn about YouTube I started to study it and I put in God I put in you know hundreds of hours of learning all about YouTube and how to be successful on YouTube. So when I moved here it was my clear goal to be a successful YouTuber I was all in all in basically and I had no plan B for if it didn't work out I don't I don't believe in plan B's you see all my life I've had so many different interests I mean you probably can already tell this from watching my videos but you know I was always into like dirt bikes and skateboarding and BMX and socializing and chasing girls and cars and street art and all sorts like I've always been doing so many things at once and I always figured that if I'd focus all of my energy into just one thing See, I'm good at a lot of things, but if I'd focused all of my energy into just one thing, I'd actually be really good at it. So that was the plan when I moved here. I was all in on YouTube. I had nothing else, no other things that I was focusing on. Only this, and, and honestly, it takes a lot of dedication. In the last year, I've put out just over 300 videos, which hasn't been easy, but the hard work is definitely paying off. So when I get these little compliments, like being recognized as high potential or featured as YouTubers, creator on the rise, these are things that have been picked up by the YouTube algorithm. So I know I'm on the right track, which is awesome. And it's honestly, it's the best feeling. So this is, whoa, <laughs> I sat on one of these tires and it, it folded right in. I almost fell off. Anyway, this is Graffiti Park in Lachatelli. It's a really cool place. I haven't been here for quite a while. I wanted to come check it out. I'd like to do a video in here soon. This is a great place to hang out. If you're in Bangkok, come check it out. You can just Google Graffiti Park and this one will come up. Just come back down for a little walk along the canal. If you haven't been exploring these little neighborhoods in Bangkok, you have to do it, honestly. If you walk through, if you walk through with good vibes and you're positive and smile, you'll be well received by the people there. And it's always the most rewarding experience when you do it too. And this is why I love doing it. You know, you walk through these places, the guy just wandered out of his house and just wanted to come and have a chat. So he stood there and chatted for a while. I love it, love it. It's so lovely, the people here. So this video is this video is just like a thank you really thank you to everyone that watches and follows along you know I'm having I'm having the time of my life doing this honestly and you know the truth is if I wasn't filming this today I'd still be doing the exact same thing anyway so to be able to make a living out of doing the things I love it's just it's unbelievable so thank you all of you <laughs> 